favorite shots from uh, Magnolia. We had the great azalea line and just great color. This uses the uh, soft ray filter to give it that um, um, uh, very uh, fantasy-like type of look. It's a fantasy place anyway, and then when you add that soft glow in the morning, it gives it a very different feel altogether. And this is a sharp infrared. I kind of like, this has a, a photojournalistic look to it, you know, and I like this a lot. Uh, it's a very fun image, very ironic, very clean fern. Um, it's one of my favorite IRs. You have the, 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 the petals falling down from the, uh, the brick wall and kind of has, like I say, a, a photojournalistic look to it, you know. And again, green lily pads, green equals infrared because it turns, it gives off this great infrared and I grab that camera immediately on this type of scene. It's just made for it. Just tremendous. Filling the frame with the subject, very high horizon line, just showing all of the, uh, all the foreground. Wide angle lens, get that rapid fall off, very dramatic, the wide angle drama on something like this. Again, it's a still life, infrared, infrared sandwich, where I shoot one and then duplicate it and do the sandwich maneuver to get this more of a, a dense, like a thicker type of look. It also gives it a good look at the handles on the bench. They kind of glow. They have that infrared glow kind of thing. Another infrared. I love infrared in the springtime. But shot with a um, 18 millimeter, right maybe like six inches from the sand. This area is maybe like uh, uh, eight feet by five feet. It's very small. But the uh, wide angle lens held close to the foreground gives it a much more expansive uh, look, it's an example of using the tools that you have to their best advantage, and that's what's happening here. Whoa, it's a heavy Lucis, um, Lucis Pro Intervention image, you know. Um, it has a checkerboard pattern, which is a, a Lucis uh, signature um, uh, look, and it's processed many times, five or six times, just layer over layer over layer. And what's amazing here is as much as it's processed, how far it's pushed, if you look closely, everything is smoothly graduated. Um, there's no pixelation. There's no hint that it's been heavily manipulated. I mean, by looking at it, you can tell, but not by the extreme pixelation, because there is none. The, um, this remains a very smooth image, which is a function of a, a very uh, you know, well-written algorithm. Just tremendous. Big S curve. I don't like the color on this, so I converted it using Silver Effects Pro to black and white, and that seems to work. I just like the uh, that that water rivulet, I guess it's called. You know, uh, going through this huge S curve. Always photograph S curves, and this is uh, this is one shot at uh, Folly Beach. Folly Beach again, again a huge C curve. Um, I look for graphics. John Shaw says always think of photographics, the key word being graphics. So I'm always on the lookout for like squares, rectangles, C curves, S curves, things that are more graphic in nature. And we're lucky to get a, just a tremendous sunset, which is what, um, what Folly Beach is, is pretty much for. If you walk out to the end of that beach and the sun sets right in front of you, and there'll be a lot of tidal pools if you're lucky. And these kind of shots are all over the place. Just good stuff. There were three flowers with this uh, really graphic frost the one morning. That was it, you know. And um, after about five minutes of shooting, our, our, our you know, body heat melted uh, this frost. And I kind of knew that, so I told my uh, friend to hurry up because it wasn't going to last that long. Flowers in the shade, early morning, will pick up these uh, frost crystals for anywhere from a couple of minutes to maybe uh, whenever it's done. But they don't last that long. Once you get close to them, even your body heat uh, will melt these. This shot with a 105, if it was shot with a uh, 200, it could have been back double the distance, and uh, my body heat or breath would not have been a factor, but with a 105, it is a factor. So we had to hurry up and get this shot before, uh, before it was gone.